One potential problem to the right half plane zero, or one potential solution to the right half plane zero that we introduced by using compensation is to add a buffer that removes the zero. And the way that the buffer removes the zero is by getting rid of the feed forward path. So remember, what caused the zero to begin with is that we have a feed forward path through the compensation capacitor. And so the way that this works is we're going to take a, we have our compensation capacitor that we're adding, CC, between the first and second stage. And we're using our uh, GM and resistor model of the amplifier uh, right now, uh, just for simplicity of analysis. Uh, we're going to break the path by putting in a buffer circuit that has a gain of one and connects between the compensation capacitor and the second stage. Now, an ideal buffer allows current to propagate this way. While no current can propagate forward in the forward direction. Okay, if we do this, we can, of course, do KVL or KCL uh, as it's appropriate at the input and output nodes and solve for a transfer function V out over V in. KCL is a little bit easier to do. And if we were to do so, we would find the following situation. We'd find that we have omega P1 is equal to exactly what it was before, GM2, R2, R1, CC. Omega P2 doesn't change either. It's approximately GM2 divided by CL. But we do introduce two new things. We introduce omega P3, a third pole, which is approximately 1 over R out times C1. This R out is the R out of the buffer, if it does have a finite R out. And the last thing we introduce is omega Z1, a zero, which is equal to one divided by RO times CC, the output resistance of the buffer again. But what's important is that this is a left half plane zero. A left half plane zero doesn't contribute negative phase shifts, so it doesn't contribute to our stability problems. If we were implementing this in a circuit, the way that we would do this would be to add our compensation capacitor and we're going to also add a buffer. And our buffer is simply going to be a common drain amplifier that goes from the output and connects to the capacitor, which then ties back to the internal node. Now, what's the problem with this? Well, it costs extra current in order to bias the buffer. We already have bias current in two stages. Now we need bias current for our buffer. And so what really happens is we use too much power to do this. So in the next set of slides, we're going to look at using a nulling resistor, which is a better solution because we can do this without using very much power at all.